Hey guys, welcome back. It's me and ooh, it's end. Okay, listen. This is the second time I'm recording this video because the first time it was corrupted. And I'm a little upset about that, so ignore my mood and tone. But whatever. We're gonna get through this. This time, at least, I have a plan for the characters and what to say. Because I think I took a little too long last time. So here we are. Basically, I'm doing this video because ABA did a huge poll that they did. I'm guessing that their plan for this year uh, about buffs, nerfs, reworks, what to add, what to take away. You know, all that good stuff. And honestly, could revive the game again. And that's why I'm making this video. Because currently, ABA has like 3 to 4k players average. Yeah, it's really bad. And honestly, it kind of makes me sad because ABA is one of the OG games and it was so good. It might have been, well, it's not the first Battlegrounds game, but it was definitely the most popular and well known. ABA is like such a popular game, but now it's dying. So I hope the devs finally get it through their thick skulls to actually start working on the game. All right, there are so many characters in this game, so I'm going to go fast. And yeah, that's basically it. I'll just say who needs buffs or nerfs. I'm not going to say rework animations because 90% of the characters here need that. When I say rework, I mean like the entire character or part of the character needs a rework for that. That'll be all. That'll be all. So let's do this. Okay, first up, PTS Luffy. PTS Luffy is honestly just fine the way he is. He's a perfect M1 based uh, character. And if you're skilled with him, you can honestly destroy anyone. His awakening is very good too. Like, could win you the game type of awakening. So, really good, really good. Okay, next is PTS Zoro. Um, he's a pretty good character. His base form is really good. Like, crazy good. Okay, not crazy good, but it's really good. But his awakening is really bad. Probably the worst awakening in the game. And that's the what they should rework. They should rework his awakening. And yeah, either that or like, I don't know, buff or nerf. No, buff skills. Like, I don't know. They need to freaking buff him for sure. Okay, PTS Sanji. PTS Sanji is a good character. Except the fact that like, oh, he needs extended hitboxes. Like, most of his moves are basically his hitbox is his actual Roblox leg. And that is very small. So they the he needs to be buffed. He's fine the way he is, but he needs to be buffed, bro. Ace, rework the whole character. Rework this entire character. All of his moves are so outdated, bro. The only really good move he has is Firefly Light. Okay, because that move, like, it's a, obviously why it's good. It's an auto-aim, far-range guard breaker. Fire Fist, startup, so slow, and blockable, of course. Only used in a combo. Fire Pillar, really, you can only use in a combo. Because, bro, you cannot time using Fire Pillar to block some moves. But seriously, the startup on Fire Pillar is so bad. And fire gun, sometimes it goes through the opponent. Like, it messes up the whole combo at that point. And his awakening is mid. Literally, all you do is spam fire fist to guard break them. And then you use fire gun. Like, they could make his awakening so much better. He's definitely one of the, like, uh, his, char his character is, like, mid. Make a better game. Rework his whole character. Shanks. Now, honestly, I know Shanks didn't do much in the show. But Shanks and AVA is, like, pretty mid. Like, if you're fighting someone that knows how to counter Shanks, then Shanks is trash. Really, really bad. His awakening is just his base, but with one extra move. I don't know. I think they should try to find a way to make Shanks better. So, honestly, rework Shanks. Okay, Arlong, heavy nerfs, bro. Like, bro, I don't understand how Arlong is even in a character sometimes. His awakening is a meme. A meme. Like, what the heck? Okay, now we're in Dragon Ball. Now, Goku, nerf Goku, bro. Like, I hate that he can just go Kaioken and use Rush. It auto-aims and is a guard break. That makes me so mad because there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, Piccolo, honestly, rework his character. I mean, okay, not rework. 
but rework his ult his ultimate bro his ultimate um it's just this, like basically the same moves since you know we got orange piccolo that could be his new ult so his base is fine it's pretty skill based and his rush is the only rush in the game that does the most 30 damage is crazy so honestly rework his ult now i have never seen anyone use pew pew or have i seen him in dragon ball but from what i've seen from one showcase i've seen he's a complete spam character and should be deleted from the game like he has no combos no like i'm not even kidding none of his combos none of his moves combo extend he actually has no combos you just spam with him pts sasuke uh, honestly they should buff like probably some of his moves I don't know what they should buff because he's a mid character like bro he's supposed to be a viable character right next to pts naruto and i would still choose pts naruto because he's better than sasuke honestly bro rock lee is probably the only character in this name that needs heavy buffs rework the whole character or buff him to the max he is so trash no one would ever use this trash character Bro, Zabuza is the most annoyingest character, or at least one of them, because of his mist move. He hides in his mist and waits for his cooldowns, or just hides from his opponent if they're ulting. Such a stupid move, bro. Nerf him. Nerf the mist so it's so much, like, instant. Or not instant, but like, not 20 seconds, bro. I swear, whoever thought of that is so dumb. Bro. They need to nerf this character. T.S. Naruto or Naruto Shippuden, one of the most brain dead, stupidest characters in this game. And the devs are purposefully buffing him. I don't even know why. Despite us? Like, bro, everyone, everyone in the game hates T.S. Naruto because the devs keep buffing him and all of his moves do so much damage for no reason like he's such a spam character unlike any character in the game he's such spam his awakening is spam like it's just all rasenguns that he spams and guard breaks bro pain they nerfed him to the ground pain was so good on release and now he's kind of mid like, Pain is my main, so I know what kind of things that I'm talking about. Bro, his combo extenders that feel like they should combo extend don't combo extend because they nerfed him. Like, why would they nerf that? Like, 6 pass combo down slams them. Why can't I just use universal pull right after that? I don't know. It's so dumb. My brother plays Minato and he despises the rework that they did for him. Because, and I played Minato myself, so I know. The Whirlwind move, such short hitbox. Insanely short. And you, can, you, the, the, it's a millisecond to combo extend with it, which should not have, be a thing. Like, oh my, they should, like, buff this. That's all I'm asking. Like, make the hitbox bigger. Shinsui, oh my gosh, his guard break, only one guard break, I think, right? Yeah, one guard break. And it's so bad. Because all you have to do, jump up in the air. Like, he, he needs a buff. Or, like, that guard break move he has needs to be buffed. Because it's so bad and trash. It needs a buff, 100%. Bro, no one uses Gin for a reason. Because of his stupid hitboxes on his sword. Like, bro, Rapid Thrust, his barrage move for his sword doesn't have the same hitbox as a regular barrage which they need to fix because it makes people able to run away or dodge out of his rapid thrust it's really annoying so that's buff his hitboxes that's all i'm saying bro toshiro honestly buff him or rework him because bro his kit is so dumb like what he does have three guard breaks but you're barely ever gonna use them the freezing dash, you will. That's like his main usable guard break. Ice trap, when are you ever going to use that move? Like, probably to keep yourself safe for a few seconds. But other than that, that move is mid. And ice wall is like a good defense move. But eh. his awakening is very good, though. So that's, that's that.
Bro, Kisuke is trash. Bro, his awakening is so buggy. Not the pirate buggy. I mean, like, his awakening is so bugged. They need to fix it. Like, it's it's annoying. It's annoying. Okay, I don't know why they decided to nerf Yuji so bad. Because seriously, man, they, they nerfed Yuji. Like, his first move is fine. Black Flash is one of the stupidest moves in the game because you have to time it perfectly just to combo extend. Like, that's ridiculous. Divergent Fist, I it, I think it used to combo extend, but it doesn't anymore, which is annoying. And Manji Kick is like a combo extender, so it's not bad. Okay, Ugon. Honestly, why did they add him out of all the Fire Force characters? But whatever. He's a solid character. Uh, a new dev came to AVA. And he was the one that made this character. That's why he looks so fair compared to the new characters. Because, you know, whenever the AVA does release a character, they are broken. But this new developer, he made him actually very fair. No one really plays him because, of course, there's, like, better characters. But he's a very fair character. Oh, Joseph, honestly, the only buff is stupid Barrel. Barrel is his only guard break. No, I think Overdrive guard breaks too, but Barrel is like one of the guard breaks you use like to actually guard break them. It's so unpredictable. You never know where it's gonna go. It's annoying and dumb and I hate it. Bro, Kira is so annoying and stupid. They, I know they made the character based on like the anime. Like in the anime, he's like a sneaky sneak, always like planting traps and everything. But in AVA, it just sucks, man. Like. He's a bad character. His awakening's good, but his rework his base. His base is mid. Yo, Dopio, honestly, I yeah, he needs buffs because he's so garbage. But I don't want him to be buffed because Dopio was such a stupid character when he was released. He was so annoying and dumb. Okay, Fate, bro. Rework Shiro. No one uses this character because no one cares. His moves are mid as hell. So yeah, rework him. He's, he's a mid character. I'm not going to cover pre-stage because like, bro, it's just stupid mean characters or just characters that can't be their own characters because they work the same as other characters. And yeah, that's that's basically covering all the buffs and nerfs for every character. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like this because the video is too long already because like covering every single character is like huge pain um, Honestly, ABA do some lag fixes. That's that's my personal opinion and yeah So anyway, thank you all for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it Leave a like and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all again next time. Bye everybody